of my goals in being able to play piano was to be able to reproduce music quickly, whether I hear it or off of a sheet, so to play by ear or to read sheet music quickly and be able to reproduce what I'm seeing or hearing fairly fast. And it's definitely a long road, but I see an encouragement along the way that I wanted to share for beginner uh, piano players that I learned. And one thing that helped me was to learn at least, even if I'm not there yet, at least how the pros actually can look at a piece of music and play it what seems like almost instantly or hear something by ear. Sometimes you see YouTube videos and you see these p piano players listening to something and being able to reproduce it. It seems like so fast uh, without even thinking about it. Uh, so I wanted to share exactly how they do that. Uh, and it's helped encourage me to know that we can make progress in this and it's not as hard as you probably think. So I wanted to show you exactly how they do it with an exercise. And so the exercise is this. I'm going to give 15 seconds to memorize a random piece of text, uh, 130 characters. So I'm going to start my timer here and you try to memorize as much as you can in 15 seconds. Ready, set, go. Okay, that was 15 seconds. Okay, so my guess is you probably didn't make much progress. I'm gonna show you another set of 130 characters and see if you can memorize this. And I'll reset my timer here, look at it, study it carefully and see, let's see how much you can memorize after this. Ready, set. Okay, that was 15 seconds. So hopefully you're already starting to see the point of the exercise and what I wanted to show and how beginners versus pros see and hear music. So when you, I first started playing piano, I saw basically the all those random characters. <laughs> Sheet music looked like random uh, notes of nothing, no meaning. Um, but after a while, you start to put things together and see the big picture. And just like the second set of 130 characters that you see, if you notice some patterns and you use some existing knowledge, you can reproduce it almost flawlessly, if not flawlessly, um, within just a matter of seconds. So this, the first one, the first piece of text was just a random set of characters and the second piece of text was a poem with the alphabet inserted in the middle, a familiar poem that most of us probably know with just the ABCs inserted in the middle of it. And so probably most people could reproduce the second almost perfectly and most people wouldn't be able to reproduce the first uh, almost at all. <laughs> and so the point of it is, do you see the difference of how when you s recognize patterns and things that you're familiar with that are being reused, uh, words, uh, alphabets, and poetry, you can reproduce it very um, quickly. And that's actually how music is, most music is composed. It's not random, it's very structured and a lot of it's reused across many songs and many genres. And so um, when you know that, it actually becomes um, hopeful, I think, <laughs> because you know you can already do this, this skill with words. Now all you need to do is put it into practice with music. And so the conclusion is get to the more you play and the more you know music and the more you look for these patterns you, in chords and chord progressions in riffs and different scales, you're going to start to see and hear them. Um, if you put, you do have to put your um, effort into it. If you're just playing rote off of the sheet, not thinking about it, then you may not 
get to it very quickly. But if you look and recognize um, and study these patterns as different types of all the different types of chords and uh, different um, riffs that you can run up and down the scales, you, you'll start to see th and hear music differently. You'll say, oh, that's a 1564. This is a 6415 progression. Even if you don't can't hear it right away, if you know that this song is six four one five, it's then you'll be able to play it on the piano if you are familiar with playing that pattern, that chord progression in different keys. So can you play the one five six four chord progression in all of the the major keys? Then you should be able to play a lot of songs, even if you just hear, oh, this song is a one five six four song you'll be able to play at least an approximation of it in any key and it'll sound decent. Uh, maybe not exactly the same, but I don't think these pros that are on YouTube that are reproducing music, they're not playing exactly the same as what they're hearing. They're approximating it and with uh, reusing patterns that they already know. Left hand patterns, um, chord progressions. And so I uh, just wanted to share that, so hopefully it's a bit encouraging for beginner piano players that um, you won't have to spend months and months learning songs. Um, maybe if you wanted to play some classical music perfectly, exactly how it's being played, uh, that's a, a certain type of music, but most of us, I don't think most of us are after that. Maybe, um, maybe many of you are. I'm personally not after that. I'm after being able to learn music quickly and play it and enjoy it. I, I tend to get bored with one song uh, after a, a little pretty quickly. So I'm not ever going to be a concert pianist. Probably um, uh, I won't really perform that much for, for folks. But for people that just want to take it casually and enjoy it, this is a great encouragement for me um, that I've taken. And it's helped me to learn music much faster, seeing music like this. And I see that. Um, our progress can be quick if we if we study these things, study chords, study left hand patterns, practice them, uh, and uh, reuse them, and master the chords, the patterns, and you'll be able to reproduce songs. Your hands will get more independent. You'll be able to reproduce them on, on the spot sometimes, um, much quicker than you could before. So, uh, hope you can take something from this.